Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and this is the new series that I was promising to you guys for ages. We are finally going to be building the AI, or you know, so-called AI, let's put it this way, for uh, BXJS Weekly Podcast. So I've been talking to uh, a good friend of mine, Dr. Axel, who is an expert in machine learning and AI, on you know what is the best approach to take here, and I've been experimenting with some packages. I think I'm finally ready to talk about the sort of overall plan and show you what I've done so far. So if you are new to this channel, if you've never seen BXGS Weekly, this is the weekly podcast that I have been creating manually for the past three years, I guess. So there's 154 episodes up until now. And I got essentially tired of doing this by hand and I decided to automate all of that to basically automate all the news gathering, automate all the sorting, all the filtering, all the categorizing. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing on the series of these videos and streams. I'm again not completely sure as of to what the format will be. But uh, the gist is we already have a pretty decent data set that we could use to train our uh, machine learning algorithms. Uh, here is the sort of overall architecture, I guess, of a very, very basic and rough level of what it should look like. Um, essentially, there is going to be two kinds of input sources. So we're going to have a Twitter with a classifier in front of it, uh, which is, okay, I'm going to talk about it a bit later. So it's going to be Twitter, right? There's going to be RSS and Reddit, which probably as well is going to be either RSS or the JSON API they have. And it's going to be as well the user submitted feeds which is whatever you guys want to submit. Because it does happen that, you know, frequently we have people sharing pretty cool stuff here and there. So we need some other way of um, doing things. And then there's going to be two binary classifiers. So why two? Well, Twitter is quite significantly differs from the typical articles, right? It's a lot shorter and the style of writing is quite different. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually split those into two different binary classifiers which basically would pass or fail tweets separately to the usual articles. Um, once this is done, the basically results of the classification will be stored in the database. And here's the interesting bit. So what I want to do is I not just want to, you know, store it in the database and then create the result out of that. I rather want to give a feedback UI to all of you guys. This will actually include the user submitted UI as well. So it's going to be sort of a front end for all of that. And the gist is that basically uh, all of you who are interested in that, including me, can go through the list of, uh, well, tweets, articles, whatever, right? Reddit posts that are in database, both accept it and reject it and double check and say, hey, okay, you know, this was actually accepted, but it should be rejected, right? And this will retrain those classifiers and improve the um, the final models, right? This is kind of the gist with sort of the longer it runs, the better the models will be. Uh, just to give you an idea why I'm doing this, well, I already created a basic TensorFlow.js uh, binary classifier for Twitter. Uh, now, the problem here is, you need a data set for that, right? So you need the positive tweets and you need the negative tweets as in the ones that should pass and the ones that should be rejected. And while positive tweets is something I was able to extract relatively quickly because, well, there is, um, where is it? There we go. So we already have the BXGS weekly data set. I can just filter items that include twitter.com and URLs. And there you go. There's my data set of positive tweets, right? Negative tweets is something I had to go basically and collect by hand, which was not fun. So there is right now uh, 215 examples of negative, like non-fitting tweets essentially for BXGS Weekly. Doing that by hand was not fun and I do not want to ever do this again. Uh, I will probably have to do this again anyway, because we have to do the same for the articles, right? Uh, maybe maybe I'll come up with a better way of doing it, but we'll see how that goes basically down the road. Now, the thing is, the more I think about all of that, the more complex it grows, right? Because there's this feedback UI, there's the classification retraining, there's, uh, oh yeah, right, there's the second part of the whole thing. So once the once we got this database of accepted articles, we need another multi-class classifier in this case, that would actually take all of the week's articles and create a BXGS weekly episode out of them. This also should use the feedback UI and should retrain basically based on the feedback from me and you people. Um, again, so the, all of that is 
a ton of work. Uh, it only took me, I think, a week to even figure out the binary classifier for Twitter, including the data set collection, which I admittedly took like half of a day to figure out <laughs> that part. So my idea is to basically split it into two parts, or I guess maybe even three parts. So we're going to start with uh, just doing this bit. So we're going to do this uh, first part, which is going to be essentially database, uh, Twitter bot, and a feedback UI where you guys can say, okay, this is good, this is bad, right? And then uh, this essentially this will have, so in addition to Twitter, or I guess this should come from end of binary classifier, right? So it should output another thing that will go back to... Um, Call it Twitter bots, right? So we're going to have a Twitter bot that would basically retweet whatever the classifier thinks is good. It's sort of going to be, I guess it's also going to be like the loop here, right? Because we will need some sort of a Twitter API to actually consume Twitter. Because right now I just essentially grab whatever tweets I can. Uh, anyway, you see, you know, how you, you start thinking about those things and all of a sudden there's like 25 more entities to think about. And there's the feedback UI, which again, you know, when you start thinking about it, you can't just allow anyone to press buttons. So we actually need some sort of authentication with GitHub or Twitter or whatever. And then there's like 200 more concerns here to think about. So we're going to take it one step at a time. We're going to start with Twitter. Once I've finished and polished the binary classifier for tweets, uh, again, I'm not going to publish this code because it's a mess. There's a ton of problems with it, but I am going to use it in the final version which means that, you know, you're going to see exactly how the final version of that looks. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling comfortable enough to stream how I, I stumble upon, or I guess <laughs> try to figure out how the hell does the um, TensorFlow.js works. By the way, it is not as easy as it seems. And uh, while TensorFlow, like the Python version, has a whole ton of very nice utilities, like literally, if you want to do binary classification in TensorFlow, in Python, there's a class for that. You just say, hey, you know, TensorFlow binary classifier, train this, go, done. In TensorFlow.js, they're like, no, here's like your uh, neural network, here's your layers, assemble it yourself. <laughs> Which again, you know, is not super hard once you figure out how it works, but like, why is there no helper classes? Which is a bit annoying. Um, figuring out the multi-class classifier in this case is going to be one hell of a task. I was told that the random forest or boosted trees would uh, basically bo uh, work best here, but uh, I haven't gotten to this part even, you know, even close to that yet. So uh, yeah, we're going to see how that goes. So basically, this is the overall plan. I think uh, once I finalize the binary classifier for Twitter, which probably will happen next week, we're going to have a stream where we set up the website with database and the Twitter bots. I'm not sure what to start with first. Maybe we start with the Twitter bot and then uh, add the feedback UI on top of that. And uh, yeah, we'll just basically keep expanding from that. So once we have the feedback UI, we can easily add the uh, other part with RSS and Reddit and user submitted content. Um, again, this part is a lot easier because we don't have this feedback loop with uh, Twitter itself. So we can just, you know, shove it into the binary classifier, then retrain it as needed and uh, get the data that we want essentially. And then the last part, once we figure all of that out, is going to be the multi-class classifier that will produce our episodes. I'm curious to see how good the result will be. Again, you know, the longer this thing will, um, the longer this thing will stay alive, the, the larger the data set will be, the better the results will become. Uh, which is something that I think is very nice because, you know, at least for Twitter, there's like the current feed for the BXGS weekly tweet is uh, like a few dozen tweets per day. And I think the current model has something like 5%, like the precision, uh, what was it? 95% precision, uh, or no, not precision, accuracy. 95% accuracy, which is good enough for most of things. So I think there's like occasional false positives. I haven't seen any false negatives, at least from my current testing, testing data sets. But yeah, it's like, we're going to see how that develops basically. Um, very curious to see how this project will end up. Um, but yeah, so this is the plan. I will probably do a live stream either for Twitter bot or for the website at some point later, either this week or next week. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just, uh, you know, take it one step at a time. From there on, uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you are 
an expert in machine learning and, and you know better ways of doing these things because again I had a very brief chat with uh, Axel uh, on to you know how exactly he would do that and my explanation was probably way briefer than it should have been. So there might have been miscommunications here and if you are following me if you know how the podcast works maybe you have better ideas of how that will work but um, maybe Axel is also watching and he knows exactly how it works so um, Maybe I'm underestimating his understanding of what I'm doing. <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, uh, that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. As usual, join the Discord if you want to discuss any of that in more details. Thank you guys for your continued support. And I see you next time. Bye.